Hello everyone. So um Tak paga ok. Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am Nicole Shinee Bautista from Grade 11 to Citrons, and today we're going to make a 3D animal cell. Let's go. Here are the things we need. Used papers, glue, water, poster paint, cardboard, masking tape, stick glue, balloon, scissors, strainer, glue gun, stapler, bowls, and brushes. So these are my used papers from the previous school year. I'm just cutting the papers into small strips for our cell membrane. So as you can see, I'm just putting it on the water for it to be soft and easy to mold. I'm cutting the papers into smaller strips for our cell organelles. And then just blow the balloon. In a container, prepare some water and then put the glue. Mix it very well and put the soaked paper in it because we're gonna be making the cell membrane. And then soak the small papers and crush it in the water <laughs> like I do yeah just follow me cut the cardboard for our cell stand make sure that it will fit in the balloon and then staple it apply the papers into the balloon and let it dry while we are waiting, I'm just gonna strain it and put it in the mixture of water and glue. So just, yeah, like that. And then use some strainer to. Cut the papers into big strips because this will be the second layer of the outer structure. So here I'm just molding the papers into specific shape of every organelle. We have Miss Rufa here cheering us. Go, go, go! Then here, I'm just molding the essentials like a T-shape. Go, go, go! Wow! We have here the organelles made of papers. We have nucleus, nucleus, mitochondria, and then the ribosomes and then some other like that and the culture apparatus and the smooth and rough and the reticulum. <laughs> Just repeat what we did previously. The first layer is dry so we proceed to the second layer. Just apply it and the cell organelles are not yet dry and also the cell itself, so I decided to put it outside. Locate the center and radius of the cell and then cut it, put some papers inside, and trace some cardboard. Cut it. Apply masking tape on the cardboard. Like that.
I'm gonna use this to color the cell and organelles. So here I'm just coloring the cell membrane in color white. And then I'm using color orange to color the cytoplasm. So here I'm just coloring the organelles. As you can see, I'm coloring the nucleus into blue and the nucleus into yellow. Tadaan! So here are the organelles. It is colored now and it's beautiful like me. Haha, <laughs> char. Glue all the organelles up and then, yeah, do your best because this is the last part. Go, go, go! So this is the end of my video and the end of my project. Bye!